Hey everybody, Sean Bodley here again with IBM. Um, and I'm going to perform a quick demonstration of a new option in PowerHA version 713 of how to create an HTML cluster report from the command line using the CL Manager option. Now, creating cluster reports has actually been around for a while in different versions and it's, it's changed a few times in the last four or five releases. In uh, 6.1 and prior, we had something called online planning worksheets, and you could actually export the cluster configuration for an online planning worksheet format, and then pull that up in a window on your workstation and view the report. Uh, a lot of service, you know, a lot of services people actually liked that report. Uh, it was useful. Um, you could modify it, and then you could also turn around and redeploy it. Uh, so that was very useful. In 710, uh, that exact functionality wasn't there. Even though we replaced the WebSmith and online planning worksheets with the Systems Director plugin. Now, a few enhancements later into the Systems Director plugin added the ability to actually create reports. However, the trade-off on that is you had to have a Systems Director server with the director plugin to actually utilize it. So now the CL manager command has been expanded to create these HTML reports uh, on each and all cluster as you wish and there's no dependency on having systems director anymore. So expect this to be uh, quite useful. Um, kind of a common thing that people would do before, especially in large enterprise environments is maybe set up a cron job or something that would create these reports on a daily basis and copy them over to some holding or repository area and then uh, they could just you know pull up the reports anytime they want. Uh, some customers get very intricate and would actually start doing diffs on these reports to help uh, start pinpointing when changes were made. Now ideally proper change management you should already know. But it's uh, you know just some other ideas of, of how to utilize uh, this report. So you, you do only run this on one node within the cluster and then it says you know we, we only support Internet Explorer and Firefox for using this utility. So this demo is only going to be a couple of minutes long compared to some of my others, but hopefully you'll find this useful. Now, this is the exact command that I executed on my cluster. And you can see that you can insert your own company name and you can insert um, artwork or graphics for the company logo. And uh, something that I discovered in my testing is that since I, have, since I actually pull the report over to my workstation, I gave it the full path of an image that I had stored uh, locally. And when I ran this, it, the, the creating of the report uh, succeeded, but actually it didn't know how to handle the Windows backslash uh, in the pathing. So I've been fortunate that I contacted the uh, developer of this tool and he was kind enough to provide me a fairly quick e-fix. So as I speak today with version 713 base levels, if you actually attempt something exactly like I'm showing using the Windows or um, you know the backslash type directory structure for a path to a file, it won't work. Now, it doesn't prevent the report from being created. What it prevents is this little logo from showing up correctly. You'll just have a uh, blank spot. Actually, what you'll see is the, the company name will show up behind the graphic. You just won't have the graphic there. So just a little tip about um, a known problem that exists. Hopefully, SP1, when it comes out, will address that. So I'm just going to switch over to one of the windows to show my full report. So you can see here that when I arrow over the company logo, it tells you 
whatever I put in for the company name, of course, whatever you choose. And hopefully you will see that this report is fairly complete. Now, in my situation, my cluster was down um, just by chance when I ran this. It's not a requirement for it to be down. So, uh, like I said, you can do this on pretty much a, a scheduled interval as you wish. So as I scroll down here, you can see resource group information, you know, what the policies are, are set to. Um, if I had any dependencies configured, which I don't, any resource group processing orders, the networks, what my service distribution policy is set to. Um, all my topology is there. Now this said down because my cluster wasn't up, so the service IP address wasn't up, but hopefully you will find pretty much everything that you care about in the actual cluster configuration show up in this report. So this is just a, a quick scroll through and highlight. You can always replay, back up, and pause, and, and take a look through here. Now, of course, development always wants your feedback if there are things that you think are missing or how this could be enhanced further, uh, they always welcome that feedback. Uh, in that case, utilize the email address for HA Development Feedback. It's actually hafeedbk at us.ibm.com. And with that, I will go ahead and wrap up this demo and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.